I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots, or only five? Hello viewers, welcome back, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. We are using version 10.0.3, just so you're aware. So we have the new updated version of GarageBand. Alright, so first things first, we have to make sure we have the um, advanced settings checked. So if you go to um, GarageBand Preferences, and make sure you have this enabled, Effects Audio Units. Um, I don't know if that's enabled by default, but you know, just make sure that's ticked. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is record your audio. So if I just record a quick clip. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. Voila. Okay, so now I'm going to loop it like so and shorten it. And so we should have this. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. Yep, pretty straightforward. Okay, next thing we need to do is hit B, I believe, on the keyboard. And we have the controls here. So, um, we have all our basic controls here, but we're not going to touch any of these. We're going to go straight to this I here. And we are going to go down on the plugin section. And here we have all the different effects that we can add. So the first one we're going to do is the channel equalizer. So if we click right here, we're going to, well, I'm just going to clarify now. I'm no expert in audio. I don't really know what half this stuff does. I've just fiddled around and see how it sounds. So this might not be completely accurate to how a radio is in real life, but this is just, you know, a way I've composed it to kind of make it sound close. So if we put this up like so, turn this section down and turn this up and turn that up like so. I really don't know what any of these do. <laughs> Just mess around with the different frequencies and it should sound more like this. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. There you go. It sounds slightly less clear and a bit more muffled, if that makes any sense. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is add the amp simulation. Well, it used to be called amp simulation, but now it's you know, it's just under the Amp Designer plugin. So go to this little section here, Amps and Pedals, Amp Designer. And we should have a little window like this pop up. So what we're going to do here is go to one of the crunch options. Now, all of these different amps have loads of different, you know, they sound a lot different. So the one I'm going to use is Vintage Driver which is ironic considering when I was picturing doing this radio effect, I'm picturing it like through a car radio in like the military or something like that. So we hit that and it should sound like this. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. And yes, that is quite an extreme sound. So you know, just take any of these and it will sound a little different. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. So you can see all these different ones have different, you know, they sound slightly different. I wonder what clean power sounds like. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within... Yeah, you see, I'm not too fond of the clean ones. The crunch ones are more suited towards the kind of radio effect, so red-headed rock, you know. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. You know, so you could toy around with any one of these amps, and some of them sound like, you know, you have the connection cutting out, so that could work in your favor, dependent on what you need this for. If you're doing, you know, like a military style radio, then this could work fairly well. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you know, keep with the red headed rock one. So, you know, you can adjust some of these and you may get something sound slightly different. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. But, you know, I don't really, I'm not entirely sure what most of these do, so I'm gonna keep my hands off of this. And hit OK. And just add a bit of reverb if you want. This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. And I think that's pretty much it. So pretty quick and easy tutorial to follow. If you want to add a few more sound effects and go ahead and do that. For example, you could go to the loop section and uh... Okay, here it is, walkie talkie stack. You know, just you know loop that over, turn it down and mix it. 
This is a tutorial on how to do a radio effect within GarageBand. This and voila, you have your walkie talkie or radio effect, whatever you want to call it. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you learn something out of this. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I am Hayden from Flashback Effects and goodbye viewers.